Okay, so we're gonna make a crab boil in the oven. I have my corn, two pounds of crab, snow crabs, my Sasha Wood smoked sausage, Land of Links unsalted butter, lemons, have my Old Bay, paprika, garlic, garlic mints, Creole, and parsley. We have here, what is this? This is scallops, a pound of scallops. This is white shrimp. And this is one um, tail, one lobster tail. I got my oven bags and I have my eggs. And I'm missing one more ingredient. Oh, I have my potatoes. So, here is all the ingredients for my oven bake crab boil. the cutting of the sausage. All right, now I'm cutting my potatoes. I'm just gonna cut them in fours, or however you wanna say it. I should leave it just like that, but I'll cut it like that. And these, these are red potatoes. I'm just gonna leave the skin on them. They got some little nipping that needs to be done. Okay, so I have my red potatoes. So what I'm gonna do is boil everything in one pot. And what I'm gonna boil is the potatoes. I'm gonna put my eggs. We're gonna do like probably eight eggs. Why all these eggs? I don't know, but we'll figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I'm gonna also put in this pot to boil, and we're gonna boil this for like probably a good, mm, probably a good, probably 10 minutes. I'm gonna put my corn in this here and fill this up. We're gonna fill this up and we're gonna boil this for 10 minutes. And while we're boiling this, I'm going to go and start prepping the seafood and I already got my oven preheated on 350 and add water to this and boil it. Okay, so we have a little lobster tail here. I cracked the back, I guess so it can flare when it gets heated up. Got my bowl of shrimps. They already deveined and peeled. And I leave the tail on so that the shrimp won't shrink. Got my bowl of scallops. And I have my snow crabs here. This is about two pounds of it. And we have this boiling. And we will be back. Okay, so right now I'm making my sauce. I melted down um, two sticks of butter and I got it on low heat. 
I'm using Lando Lakes um, unsalted butter. I put in two teaspoons of this minced garlic. Um, I put in some Obey seasoning and I'm not doing any measuring. I put in some parsley and I got some other seasoning. Y'all seen at the beginning that I'm gonna put in. So, so far the sauce is looking like this. I have it on low heat because I don't, um, I don't want the, the butter to kind of overcook or burn. So if you can see the cubes are still thick and what I'm gonna do, cause it looks like I may need like a half a stick more of butter. I'm gonna um, put it in there. But so far I put the Obey in here. I put the minced garlic, I put garlic pepper. I put some parsley. I'm gonna do a little bit more parsley. And I'm gonna do some, um, my paprika. I want to do a little paprika. Just a little. Some paprika. And I'm going to stir. If you can see, that sauce is looking nice. And I'm going to do some, just a little um, Creole seasoning, the original. And that's all the seasonings that I'm gonna use. I am gonna use another half, like um, a half a stick of butter. I may need to use up all this butter because I'm not gonna drizzle and I'm gonna kind of turn my heat up a little bit so I can get this the butter to do what it need to do. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and pour this sauce over my, um, my seafood, cause we're gonna get ready to prep the bag. I'm gonna put the, the stuff in the bag and I'm gonna pour this over my seafood and you're gonna see how it turns out. But you, as you can see that butter in there is still doing what it need to do. But if you can see, this is the sauce. That sauce looks good and it smells good. I need a little bit more butter. And we're gonna let it do, I'm putting the oven, the stove on medium. If I want to, I can pour this in there like this, in the bag, cause it's gonna melt. But I just, the reason why I'm doing it this way, because when I pour this over my seafood, I wanna make sure that those seasonings hit, um, like they need to be hitting on the seafood, so. I'll be back. Okay, so what I did is put everything in this big bag, this big baking bag. As you can see, all the sauces in there. I'm drizzling some, some lemon. I'm drizzling just one half of a lemon because once this is done, um, I'm going to pour some more sauce on it once it's done. I'm going to put it in the oven for 15 minutes. I'm going to tie this bag up. Tie it real good so it can seal. I have my, my little tie things here. I don't know how to use this, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, we're figuring some shit. You know what? Let's not use this top thing. Let's do it like this. I got it. You can see the eggs is in there. Everything. You see how the, the seasoning is hitting the crabs good? See how the juices is flowing? And you, what I do is I, I put it upside down. Now, mind you, the crabs... The crabs, the, the seafood itself, I didn't cook it because everything is going to be cooked in the oven. So I'm going to tie this. And I'm going to go back and make some more sauce because as you can see, my sauce is, is gone because I poured everything into the bag. You can see my little baby, my little, um, my little 
tell it got its seasoning. And I'm going to get some water. We're going to put it at the bottom of the pan because we want to create a steam. So this is tied up. We just want to create a steam, that's all. You know, put some water at the bottom of the pan so the, the bag won't um, burn on the pan, you know. You know. Looking mighty good. The eggs is, is in there. So now, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. And we'll be back with you. Okay, we're done. As you can see, the lobster tail sitting right here. It's like three or four um, snow crabs at the bottom of this. And this is the finishing touches to it. I'm about to dig in.